Ladies and gentlemen, it is a lovely host here. Once again, it is Team Ray. Have you watched the very first video of the day? What are you waiting for, people? Go check it out. It's very interesting. I think so. Anyway, follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, my own Facebook page, TikTok. All those social media accounts will be down below. If you really want to be part of the Rava show in the near future, double click the link. Then uh, DM me. Then you and I can make arrangements for a future episode. We could discuss about any kind of topic you please. But don't make fun of the host. That is no good for both of us. Okay? Okay? So if you're going to make fun of me, I don't want you on my show. Okay. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for tuning in. And I'll all appreciate it. Whoever comes on. Okay? We can discuss about all that information. Okay, please get back with me. Then I will get back with you. Okay. So, once again, I will discuss for you wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. Now, if you like to sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, or grab some drink, or maybe, just maybe, you want to like a villain, and hear my thoughts, my opinions, and the subject, and of course, the article will be down below, or the link will be down below. This one, there will be a link. Okay. Now, I guess this is from yesterday. Cesario took to Twitter, and I guess he wants to face Brock Lesnar at... Royal Rumble in 2022. He wants to, but will OW make that hap happening? Probably not. Another thing is I want to discuss about Cesario. Where has he been on TV? He comes and he goes. I don't understand what are we thinking, you know? I think he lost a few with Seth. That was stupid, okay? But there's W for you, you know? And he, didn't he recently sign a brand new contract with Divi? You know, prior to Mania of last year. I think he's going to get a major push. Why even sign, re-sign with the contract if that's really true? If you're not going to get the push that you deserve, okay? He's been with this company for a long, long time. He still have not won a Royal Rumble. He still have not won a Money at Bank. He won the U.S. title. And tag team titles. And that's it. He had a stupid gimmick when he used the Yodel. Remember that? I think it was back in 2010 or 11. And he had a team with Jack Slanger. We the people. I forget what the group called. That was dumb. I didn't care for it. I'm sorry. Stupid. Now Jack Slanger is doing better things in AEW. You know, I didn't like Jack Swagger. A ripoff is Kurt Angle. Ripoff version. Sorry. Now, listen to this. Cesaro took to Twitter yesterday. Well, technically, it was... He took to Twitter yesterday. I mean, he took to Twitter today, but technically, it was yesterday. Tease a match with Brock Lesnar. He said, Hey, big guy. Son, get it. Get real low. Something like that. I don't know. Probably totally messed up. We all know that match is not going to happen. Trust me. Because in W world, Cesaro is not a marquee name. You know, he's not a moneymaker like Rome Reigns, Seth Rollins, Brock Lesnar. He's not a, I don't know if he has his own merch. I have no idea. But they could tease this match all they want, but we all know it's not going to happen. Trust me. W will screw up the opportunity. Then, you know what's going to happen with Cesario? He'll be pushed to the side. And then the only time we'll see him on TV is like a major fight. You know? I think when Brock Lesnar um, beat up What's-His-Face, and then I think he was there in the background on ramp, I think. But they're not using Cesario very good. Of course not. They only use him when they want to use him. So, Cesario, this is just my theory. He's not going to be too happy with his party contract or whatever he signed recently. If he did sign an, a brand new contract with Debbie, I think he's going to get a major push or a decent push, but it never happened. So he, he's going to complain, you know, typical wrestlers in WWE. He's going to complain on, on Twitter, and WWE is not going to acknowledge him. Then eventually, I guess he went to McMahon's office or whatever, and McMahon says, we're not going to release you, or however that works out. Then guess what? Before you know it, WWE decided to change their mind, and then they release you. Him and people on the internet would be very pissed off. Why are you releasing Cesario? He's very talented. Yeah, he's talented, but not in WWE's 
vision, you know, he does not work, go as good in WWE's universe, you know, he's not Triple H, he's not Seth Rollins, he's not Roman, you know, he's not like Rey Mysterio, none of those guys, you know, he's not AKD and Ambrose, you know, those guys, you know, but look at weapons, you know, some guys work in WWE and other guys are total fail, you know. So, I love Cesario, but we all know that he's never going to get the push that he deserves. Maybe if he enters next year Royal Rumble, he might shock it and win it. But I doubt it. I'm, I'm being honest, okay? Just like Kevin Owens. Yesterday is a fatal four-way ladder match. Whoever wins that will be the new number one contender. And guess who won it? Seth Rollins. Really, W? Really? And you know, um, Kevin Owens is not too pleased. And, you know, he's on his way out in a way, regardless. They don't treat him very well. And I think W was teasing him about his weight. I don't know if that's really true or untrue. You know? So, that ma latter match was very good. For the season premiere of Raw. Why they can do those things every single night on Raw? Because W is very stale. It is, okay? I love ladder matches. Um... But if Kevin Owens won last night, that means that he's going to give her, him a major push. And last night, it was in, I think, Houston, and that's the time he he won the title. Remember that? I think that's the time that Triple H helped him. So I don't think Kevin Owens is going to do anything at all with his company by the time his contract expires. I'd be very surprised. So, And then I think Sami Zayn is on his way out, too, in 2022. So those big major superstars will leave the company. They're not big major stars in WWE because they don't give them the right direction, you know. But I could be right, I could be wrong, and probably a lot of you will give me crap, you know. They push the same guys over and over, same thing in a women's division, you know. It's the yeah, same thing in the Russian Grush general, you have John Cena, and you have other certain guys always get the opportunity. Same thing in the um, Ed Tour, always get these opportunities. And same thing in um, the Gone era. It's a different time, but it's the same format. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's not fair. All these other guys who don't get opportunities, they should get their opportunities, but they don't. You know? Same thing for women's. You know? There are some women are overrated. And the same thing for the guys. Let me know down below who you think is the most overrated guy in the current era for W only. Who you think is the most overrated in the women's in W only. I'm just just wanna ask a question. Okay, have a good one and enjoy your rest of your Tuesday and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.